Well, the experiment may not have worked exactly as designed, but that's not really the end of the world. Science will endeavor to find a way. Earlier, I spoke to infectious disease expert, Dr. Oliver Brady, who addressed whether the new breed of mosquito is a danger to humans. There's definitely no evidence of that. I, and I don't think many in the scientific community are, are worried about that uh, transfer of genes from mosquitoes to humans. That's, that's, um, yeah, there's certainly no evidence of that. I think the, the bigger concern is, is how mosquito populations will interact. So currently there's a, there's a big evidence gap in knowing in essentially insecticide resistance of mosquito species. So insecticides are currently our best and, and, and really only tool to, to try and control these mosquito populations. Only over time, these mosquitoes um, evolve resistance to the insecticides we use. And because we're using different insecticides in lots of different places, um, the resistance that evolves is, is slightly different in different areas. Um, I think the real worry is that if we start mixing mosquito populations at an even higher rate, um, we'll have mosquitoes that are resistant to multiple classes of insecticides, which really leaves us with um, no new tools to uh, fight a growing disease risk. This particular study um, shows a very specific thing, and that's the, the mosquito that they release is essentially genetically different to the one that was present in the part of Brazil that they were doing. And after the release program, there were some elements of the genome of the released mosquito found in the natural population. So there's definitely no evidence that this has made the, the mosquito population in this part of Brazil any more um, sort of risky for disease. Um, that, that's just not really shown. I mean, there's, there's definitely some concern about any kind of modification of the background genetics of um, a mosquito population, but these kind of things happen all the time. So particularly the, the species of mosquito that transmits dengue, Aedes aegypti, is a highly mobile mosquito species. So it can move all around the world. It can lay its eggs in things like shipping containers that get spread around the world very, very quickly. So it's not unusual that we see um, different genetic backgrounds combine and mix all the time.